What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to take you guys through a specific meal plan that I've created for the ketogenic diet. Now I wanted to make this as simplistic as possible because I can't begin to tell you how many times I hear from so many people saying, oh I don't have time to meal prep, I don't have time to put together a meal plan. It is super easy and today I'm going to show you guys just how easy it can be for you. So if you guys are ready to get this epic meal plan underway, as always I'm ready to provide it for you. So let's get cooking. All right, so in this meal plan, it's gonna consist a total of four meals. I feel like if you have four meals in your meal plan, it's gonna ensure that you don't go hungry throughout the day, and that's one of the things that I've always struggled on diets is being hungry and just not eating as much food. Having four meals allows you to stay full throughout the entire day. In our very first meal that we're gonna have for the day, I wanted to make something that's really quick that you can just grab out of the fridge and head to work right away without having to do any prepping. So this is something that you'll prep in advance, and I'll show you guys how easy that is to do. All right, so in this very first meal, it's only gonna consist a total of three ingredients. This is by far the easiest breakfast that you guys can make. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're going to have eggs. We're gonna do hard boiled eggs. Now I'm going to make those real quick for you guys. If you don't know how to make hard boiled eggs, I will make a separate video for you. Go ahead and drop that in the comments and let me know if you don't know how to make hard boiled eggs and I'll make a separate video for you. But I'm not gonna make you guys painfully listen to me uh, talk about how to make hard boiled eggs. So we're gonna do three hard boiled eggs, half of an avocado, and three pieces of bacon. Now, when you have the avocado, it's something you're just gonna grab with you. You don't wanna cut it in half before you actually going to eat it because if it's sitting in the fridge, it's gonna start getting brown in the inside. It's just not gonna taste very good. So let's go ahead and put this meal together in a meal prep container and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. Okay, so meal one is all wrapped up. So just to show you guys again what that looked like, we had the half of the avocado, the three pieces of bacon, and three hard boiled eggs. Now this is a really good meal to have for your breakfast. It's gonna to give you all the energy from all the healthy fats as well as you're gonna get your potassium in by eating half of that avocado so this is a really high fat meal to start off the day and it's going to fill you up into your next meal so now let's go ahead and let's move on to meal two and meal three all right so for meal number two we're actually gonna be only using about three ingredients total um, for the main course of that dish we're gonna be using 80 20 lean ground beef now I always get the three pound one at the store I find the more you buy the easier it is for you obviously I'm not gonna make all of this right now we're only gonna be actually doing four ounces total in this meal just for sake of macros so we'll go over all the macros at the end so stay tuned for that and I'll kind of explain that a little bit more but we're also going to be doing broccoli now I always opt in going for the freezer kind with the steamable version just makes meal prepping that much easier for you and this is one of the easiest meals so you'll just need a little bit of seasoning to be able to go ahead and season the ground beef but let me go ahead and show you what that looks like all right, so when it comes to ground beef, I always weigh it out prior to cooking it. Now, there's some people that weigh out their meats afterwards, but I've always done it before and it's worked out perfect for me. I've never had any issues with it, so I like to stay consistent. So whatever works for you guys, whether you wanna you know, go ahead and weigh it out before or after, just as long as you're consistent with all the meals across the board. I do it with fish, I do it with chicken. Um, you know, It's just always been something that worked out really well for me. You can read a bunch of different information online, but I can promise you this way has worked for me. Just find out what works for you. So we've turned on our scale already and it's teared out to zero. Um, we're actually gonna have to tear it again because what I do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this entire three pound container and then we're just gonna go ahead and put it all inside the bowl. All right, so when you have your scale, it's gonna weigh it all out once it's all in there. What you wanna do is you wanna hit tear again, and what tear does is it brings it back down to zero. So whatever we pull out of that will also negatively impact that number, which we can know exactly how much four ounces is. For those of you that don't know, there's about 113 grams in four ounces. If you need conversion charts, you can find them right on Google. So what we'll do is let me grab a plate real quick to put this on, and then I'll show you guys what it looks like to negatively impact that number. All right, so now we have a plate. What we're going to do is we're just gonna take out some here until we go down to a 113 grams. So that's 106 and 113. And I always say, use the rule of thumb, that as long as you're within about I'd say anywhere between five grams, either above or below, close to that metric, you're fine. I try to get as close as 113, but as long as you're within five grams, you, you'll be all right. Um, so now we got this here, we're just gonna go ahead and preheat our pan, and then we'll get this in there. All right, so now that we got the pan preheating, first thing I like to do is I actually use original nonstick cooking spray. You'll get a lot of people saying that this stuff isn't good when you're on the keto diet, but for me, like I said, it's something that's always worked for me, never had any problems, never knocked me out of ketosis, so this is what I use to make sure 
sure my meat doesn't stick to the pan. So I'll just go ahead and spray that in there. Since the pan's already preheated, we'll just go ahead and put the meat right in there. And then, now what I like to do is use a couple different types of seasonings. I use garlic powder, pink Himalayan salt, which if you haven't watched any of my other videos, this is the best salt you can buy, especially when you're on the ketogenic diet. So pick some of that up. Mrs. Dash's table blend salt. And then I also use a little bit of chili powder for a little bit more flavor and a little bit kick to it. All right, and once that's up there, we'll just go ahead and move it around and make sure all the seasonings mix with the meat. All right, so while this is cooking, we'll go ahead and we'll put the broccoli in the microwave to make sure that's completed around the exact same time that the meat is done. So it looks like the meat is all finished up and the broccoli is just finishing up here in just a minute But guys, this literally took me three minutes to brown this ground beef So there should be no excuses that you guys can't just quickly make this in the morning if you're running out of time And now when it comes to the broccoli, I don't even weigh this out I literally just eyeball it because I know if I just put it in one of these side compartments here Usually 85 grams comes out to it if I just fill it right up to there and broccoli really can't hurt you if you overeat it so um, it's a good healthy source of carbs. Um, now looking at this meal here, I was like, you know what? This meal just looks a little too bland for me. I like a little bit more flavor. Dieting doesn't have to be so painful. So a few things I decided to add in this meal. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in sriracha mayo as well I'm going to do 28 grams of cheddar cheese. Now with the cheddar cheese, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put that right on top of the broccoli and it's gonna melt itself because the broccoli is already warm. And then for the sriracha mayo, I, I mean, I love this stuff. This is by far my favorite sauce. Even if I wasn't on keto, I would eat the crap out of this stuff, guys. So we can just go ahead and just put it right over top of the meat. Now, when it comes to this, you want to be a little careful. It's 15 grams per serving. But, you know, I pretty much just eyeball it. It's just one, two, three, there. That's plenty enough. I know that's going to be less than 15 grams. If you guys really want to be precise about it and you're closer to like a show day or anything like that, then you'll obviously want to make sure you're weighing this stuff out. There is meal two for you guys. So if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and pop over and let's go ahead and move on to meal three. All right, so for our third meal, we're going to be making something that is by far one of my favorite meals on and off the keto diet. Now I wanted to pick up something that has something, a lot of flavor, something that can continue to excite your taste buds, that you don't have to worry, no, you're gonna feel like you're on a diet with this meal. So for this meal, there's gonna be a total of four ingredients. So with this one, we're going to do chicken. Now I picked up the chicken tenderloins. Um, the reason I do these ones is because they've already trimmed off all the nasty grizzly pieces. They're already ready to just throw inside of a pan and get cooking on. So we're gonna do four ounces of the chicken tenderloin. Also have red hot wing sauce. A uh, head of lettuce. Now you can use iceberg or romaine, whichever you prefer. And then for the sauce, we are going to do blue cheese. You can also use ranch. Just be careful of the sugars that are in it. Uh, blue cheese is a high fat, really good uh, source of fat for your meal. So that's why I choose that. But we're going to go ahead and let's prep up the chicken and get that put into a pan. All right. So I've already started preheating the pan. So next what we need to do is weigh out the four ounces of chicken. Now, like I mentioned, I go ahead and I weigh out everything before I put it in the pan. So Let's see, that's 63. Once again, guys, we're going for 113. So that's a little bit over right there. So we'll just go ahead and tear off a little piece here and just keep tearing off until we get down to the 113. Ah, 100, 117, 118. That's actually perfect. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to spray our pan. So let me wash my hands real quick and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so once again, we're going to be using the original cooking spray. So just go ahead and hit that a little bit in the pan here. And then what I like to do is just go ahead and put in the chicken. Now with the chicken, I'm actually just gonna be using salt and pepper seasoned to taste. Um, so we'll go ahead and put that on there right now. All right, perfect. And then a little bit of salt. All right, and so we'll let that cook. And now while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my meal prep container and get together everything else that I need for this meal. All 
All right, guys, so the chicken just finished up and it is looking absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the chicken and we're just gonna put it in a separate bowl because right now what we need to do is we need to season the chicken even a little bit more. So like I mentioned, we're gonna be doing the buffalo sauce. So I have the red hot wing sauce. Guys, this stuff is great. The macros are perfect on it. Literally one tablespoon serving, you get 460 milligrams of sodium, so it's a little high in sodium, but if you know me, salt's good. And yeah, it just helps out the body in so many different ways. So we're just gonna go ahead and put this on here and just kind of eyeball it. We don't really need to weigh it out. I put a nice amount in there because I like my food super spicy. So if you guys are like me, go ahead and add as much as you like and then just kind of toss it around in the sauce all right and now once that's done uh, we're just going to go ahead and put it on the leaf of lettuce now i've already put the leaf of lettuce in my meal prep bowl for you um, just to show you guys i go with a bigger leaf lettuce so you can go ahead and just fold it over if you like to if you have small pieces it's just going to be like a salad so i like to have mine actually like a sandwich kind of like if you're actually able to eat bread on the keto diet so we're just going to go ahead and just lay it right on top of that and if you guys like to, too, you can also cut the chicken up into smaller pieces. I just prefer mine to be bigger slices like that. Um, but after we're done, now we need to go ahead and weigh out the blue cheese. Now, I do weigh out the blue cheese because it is a higher fat source, so it has a ton of fat in it, but it can also be kind of crazy. If you use too much, it can put you over and sometimes knock you out of ketosis. Um, so we're going to go ahead and weigh it out. The serving size on this is two tablespoons, um, and then you get 12 grams of fat, and zero grams of protein and only one gram of carbs. So it's really good. So let's go ahead and let's weigh out the 30 grams. All right, and now just to teach you guys a little lesson here. So what I did is I actually weighed out 21 grams. I'm actually 21 grams less on this um, because I feel like if I was to add any more blue cheese to this, it might not be that great of a meal. So it's okay to go a little bit less. Just adjust your macros based on what the meal is. Now, if I was eating a salad, 30 grams would be perfect for this. You don't have to follow the label and tell you exactly what each serving size is. Follow it to what is going to work best for you. All right, now we wrapped up meal number three. Let's go ahead and move on to meal number four and yes this is our final meal so for this meal I actually make this kind of what I call my snack round so late at night you're watching a movie you just want to have a quick snack or even throughout the day you want to have a snack and you don't know tea because you got a little hungry well guess what there's options for that so first thing that we're gonna go over is our macadamia nuts guys I can't begin to tell you how amazing macadamia nuts they are such a great healthy source of fat and they're a perfect thing to incorporate into the ketogenic diet. I go with Royal Hawaiian. Now these are a little bit expensive. It actually has, let's see, five ounces and it's $5.99. So yeah, it's quite expensive. It's actually one of the most expensive nuts you can buy out there. But I can tell you guys right now, if you can afford these or if you can find them at a discounted rate, buy them. They are worth it and they help me stay consistent on my diet. Um, we go with the natural kind, but sometimes I'll go ahead and get the sea salt macadamia nuts as well. Um, next we also have is pork rinds. Now, don't be a stippler, go ahead and try it. They have many different types of flavors of these. You just have to be careful they don't have sugars in it, but pork rinds are great. They're a great replacement for chips if that's what you're looking for in the ketogenic diet just because you can't have those carbs. With this, it's gonna get you a lot of protein um, as well as it's also gonna get you a lot of good healthy fats. Um, but last but not least, and I hope you didn't forget, I really hope you didn't forget, the other half of that avocado. Yes, we are eating a full avocado every single day. I think one of the biggest mistakes I made when I first started the ketogenic diet is that I didn't implement magnesium and potassium into my diet. Now magnesium I'm taking as a pill supplement and as the uh, potassium I'm eating it through eating one avocado every single day. So avocados can be uh, kind of pricey on certain days but guys it is super important to get those into your body because that is something that you lack a lot when you are in the state of ketosis. So make sure you guys are supplementing with those. But now I'll go ahead and show you guys what I weigh out for these. All right, so I'm sure by now you guys are pretty much experts on weighing stuff out, but since this is a beginner's guide to a meal plan, I wanna show you exactly how I weigh these out. So what I'll do is I'll turn over the backside of here and I'll take a look at it. So for every half ounce, which is 14 grams, you got five grams of fat, zero grams of carbs, and eight grams of protein. So that's still pretty low for me. So what I did is I actually did two servings in this. So I'm gonna do a total of 28 grams. So let's go ahead and open this. And we'll just go ahead and 
weigh out 28 grams. And the best part is when you get the pork rinds is when you get the brand new bag from the store. You get all the big fluffy kind at the top. Sometimes you will find hard pieces in there and I just throw those away because they are no good in my opinion. Um, but cool, 26, so that's perfect. So we'll go ahead and set this aside and move on to the macadamia nuts. Same thing, just go ahead and tear it out back down to zero and we will open this up and then just weigh out 28 grams. And I know this one off the top of my head just because I eat these all the time. And 29, perfect. So as you guys seen, it's pretty easy to weigh your stuff out. Um, now, like I said, again, you can eat these as your last meal for the day or you can split them up. Sometimes I'll have these before my second meal, before my third meal, and I'll just kind of mix them up. Just kind of listen to your body and if you're hungry, eat. Eat the stuff that you guys have meal prepped out. And you can, honestly, when you buy these, what we do is we just meal prep them all in one sitting. So I have little Ziploc bags full of macadamia nuts and I already know the portion size, so it's easy for me to stick to my macros. But if you guys are ready, let's go ahead and let's go over the final macros for this entire meal plan. All right guys, so we wrapped up that final fourth meal. So now I wanted to go over the exact macros for this entire meal plan for you guys, but just to save you a little bit of time on this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the breakdown of all each meal inside the description for you. It's right below this video, so you can copy that, you can put it into a Word document, print it off, and use it for yourself at home. Um, but just going over the exact macros, this entire meal had a total of 1,728 calories. And for the breakdown of the macros for carbs, it had 26 grams, fats 135, and protein 103, with a total of 15 fiber. And for those of you that don't know, take the fiber and subtract it from your uh, carbs, and that's what your total daily net carbs are for the day. So we're really low on carbs, but I'm totally cool with that. I like to stay between 20 and below. If I'm hungry a little bit later on in the day, I can go ahead and add another serving of broccoli if I choose to, um, and that'll keep me still within my macros range but um, this meal plan guys is super easy for you to follow it's one of the easiest ones that I followed from the beginning it's what allowed me to get on the ketogenic diet and just consistently lose weight I think I'm down about 75 pounds right now so super awesome success I'm very happy about it and we're just continuously dropping more and more and more so now I also want to let you guys know that this meal plan is designed for me specifically it's designed for the specific height I am the specific weight I am it's not designed for somebody that's you know six foot five weighs 275 pounds is trying to shred a bunch you know I'm uh, what 511 and I currently weigh 216 pounds so it's specific to what I am yours is all different if you guys need help with your macro breakdown or any knowledge on different types of meal plans go ahead and hit me up in my email I'll put that in the description for you as well or just send me a message on Instagram and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out but understand this is what I eat it's not gonna work for everybody sometimes you have to change things up to meet your needs that's just part of dieting and that is the awesome part about it because you can customize it to your liking as well as what is going to allow you to fit it into your macros. So let's go ahead and let's wrap up this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching my content. I can't begin to tell you how much it means to me. Um, if you guys did like this style of video, go ahead and smash the thumbs up button. That allows this video to reach that many more people. So all those people out there that are trying to make a healthier life choice and get on the ketogenic diet, it allows them to find this video and make it just that much more easy for them. So if you're not gonna do it for you, if you're not gonna do it for me, do it for those people out there that you care about that are looking for that extra knowledge. Um, but if you guys have not yet subscribed to my channel go ahead and do that right now subscribe button should be right below this video just go ahead and tap that if you hit the little bell on the side of it that allows you to get notifications every time I post a video and I like to do at least maybe two to three videos a week for you guys um, if you are not currently following me on social media I'm gonna go ahead and put my handles right here so you guys go ahead and follow me on my daily life see a couple of the new things that I eat and a couple of the free giveaways that I like to run as well so once again thank you guys so much for watching my video it is greatly appreciated Thank you, um, and I look forward to seeing you guys at the very next video.